to Realcraft, your story animated, brought alive. This is the tool where you become the master storyteller. So if you go to the website, you can see all of the different features. And of course, when you're ready to create an account, that's when you can go ahead and hit the button to take you to launch app. So we're gonna start from the top left. As you see, there's a logo, and this is the place where you're gonna see all of your previous videos that you've created. Then you wanna create a brand new video, you hit new button, and once you do that, this is the window on the top where you just type an idea. So let's say you type an idea, becoming a content creator. You wanna create a video on this topic. So again, it doesn't have to be a very detailed idea. It can be just a few simple words and it's gonna ask you for the rest of the information. So right now we have two options, 4K image, 3D animation. We're also working on a 4K animation option that's in beta, but we're not showing that here. Then once you've come up with the idea that you wanna create a video about becoming a content creator, you go to scene title. So in a lot of the videos, you have the ability to see the title. So if you don't want any titles, any text on top of your video, then you select none. Or if you want a multi-word with scene title, single word, all these options are available for captions. So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a multi-word with scene title. Then next, you go to the music option. This is where you can select the background music. Here, you're gonna hit this. I have a video here, I have an audio here, an mp3, which is what I'm gonna select. It's gonna upload that. And then once you upload, you can go ahead and name this. Let's say I say happy music. Now here, you're able to see uh, what is the volume level. The score is one to 100. So you can if I, it dynamically changes. So this is 30. 20 or if you want just 10 maybe we'll keep it down so you can adjust it through the slide bar as well here and then you hit the submit button once you've done this it's going to take this as your background music and this is getting uploaded so your happy music is successfully uploaded now we've selected the multi-word scene title for the caption we've selected our music the next selection that you have to make is whether you want it to be a vertical video or a horizontal video, whether it's nine by six or 16 by nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and select nine by 16. Um, then next, this is an interesting option as well. So this is for the narration. For any video, there's gonna be a voiceover, a narration that would get generated automatically. Now here, not only can you select from one of these choices that are available female voice male voice a voice with a little bit of a specific regional accent you could also go ahead and create your own sample you can upload your sample just record some sample and once you upload this you name this voice i'm gonna go ahead and say arvin serene voice and this is when you go ahead and submit this so I have given it my voice, so it's gonna use this voice to go ahead and generate the voiceover. Then next, you go to de uh, default, like the what kind of content, what kind of story do you want? So becoming a content creator could be a story, could be a concept explanation. Um, if sometimes you wanna create a historical video or a travel blog or a biography or some sort of a poem, wishes, quotes, thoughts, all these options are available. I'm gonna go ahead and select this as a story. Um, and then you can select which type of style. If there's a particular style that you enjoy the most, we continue to update these styles, but I'm gonna go ahead and select the Tune 3DCT, which is the most realistic. And then finally, the option is for public or private. So of course, if you want it to be a private video, then you'll have to get membership, you'd have to subscribe, but otherwise you can go ahead and create public video. And we have the feature of selecting the language that happens automatically. So now all you do is just hit the create button. It's gonna confirm again, 
Are you sure you want it to be a story and not a travel blog or a concept explanation so you can change or confirm your option here? We're going to stick to the story. And then it's asking you if what you've given needs to be transformed into a story or do you want us to stick to that specific script? As an example, you could give the exact story word by word and the platform would not alter that particular story and just do a voiceover and then create the different scenes according to that. Or at times you may have a story, but you still want that to be enhanced. You don't want to stick to word by word that specific story. So you can select that as an option as well. So here we're going to go ahead and transform it into a full story because we've given a relatively shorter prompt. You hit the continue button and voila, it's generating the story right now in the background. As a next step, it's going to create the storyboard and then finally it's going to create the video. After a few minutes, our video is ready. As you can see, it can be available here in the dashboard. So this is our video. So let's go ahead and watch the video that was created first. We watch Emma go about her mundane job, longing for something more creative in her life. One day, Emma is inspired by the stories of everyday people around her and decides to become a content creator. Emma resigns from her job and begins her journey of creating engaging short form videos. As Emma navigates the world of content creation, she faces many challenges, lack of views, criticism, and self-doubt. In the process, Emma discovers her resilience, adaptability, and immense creativity that she never knew she possessed. Eventually, Emma's hard work pays off as her videos gain popularity. Even more importantly, Emma has discovered who she truly is, a passionate and resilient content creator. So similarly, you can also go to the storyboard and let's say there are certain scenes that you don't like. So in scene one, this is the first image. This is the second image. You can go ahead and hit the edit button. And if it says beautiful high resolution depiction of Emma looking out window from her office building, let's say we say home office, and then we could just hit the save button. So this is giving you the power to fully edit the prompt. And then you hit the regenerate button. It's going to take a few seconds and then generate the brand new video. While this happens, I'm going to show you some of the other features. So here, not only can you change the prompt, you can also go ahead and change the background music. As you may recall, we uploaded our happy music, which is in the background. You could go ahead and add a different file, and then you could change that even when the video has been created already. Similarly, if you go to the voiceover, you can play the voiceover here. And then this voiceover can also be edited. Right now it's in processing the video. So that's why it's not going to play or give you the option to edit because the system, the platform is already working on one video. And here's the story. If you want to change the story, then this edit button is going to be enabled as well. Now we go back. There is obviously the profile. You're able to update your profile. You could change. Um, you know, your subscription, you can manage that. And then finally, there's the tour option. This is like a tool tip. It shows you. So here you can click to access the list of previously created videos. This is to begin creating a new video. This is the pricing page. This is the profile page. And that's it. Now here on the right side menu, you can see click here to manage. And that's it. So what else is here? On this page, we have featured videos. These are the videos that we featured that were created by common people. We're going to go back and see on the dashboard if our video has been updated. So you remember we changed one image and we said on the second storyboard that this is the person who is at, at her home office. So this is the home office image that was created here. And now when you go to the video, you're going to see. We watch Emma go about her mundane job longing for something more creative in her life. So that's it for the demo. I hope you make some really amazing stories using this fantastic platform where we've put a lot of blood, sweat, and equity. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.